Okay, so Skyrim Hearthfire DLC came out today for Xbox. And I picked it up, and I wandered around for a couple minutes and panicked because I couldn't find the quest in the quest log, and then this courier ran up and gave me a letter. So when you do the DLC, it starts off with the courier giving you a letter, and the letter shows up in your miscellaneous quests, and that will get you going. So the Hearthfire DLC is about building your own home. So it gives you a home by a lake, kind of near, in between Falkreath and Whiterun, but closer to Falkreath. And it's a pretty interesting bit of DLC. I did get through most of it. It took me about a solid, at least five hours to build a majority of the house. So, I mean, it's a $5 DLC, but you do get what I would say at least five hours of gameplay just out of it, on top of the actual advantages of having this home. So, if you're a console player, you can't get sweet mods, so you're really stuck with the DLC. And I actually skipped the first DLC, which I think is called, what, Dawn Guard? I totally skipped that because I just didn't care about fighting vampires and werewolves. And I've stayed away from Skyrim for a while because I've been lost in Battlefield, but this DLC of building your own home was the first thing that kind of got me back into Skyrim after not playing for months. So, uh, I did enjoy the DLC. I do think it's good. I do recommend it in case uh, you don't feel like watching the entire video and you're just curious. I would say, yeah, it's worth the five bucks. Go get it. It's sweet. Uh, it's not a bad DLC. So, you know, that being said, I did have a minor problem with the DLC today, and it had to do with buying lumber, so basically, you get the letter, you go to this place, you buy the house for five grand, and here is the house, it's this Lakeview Manor, and, you know, of course you haven't discovered it yet, but I put the marker there and traveled there. So once you get there, you find this bench, there's a book, the book tells you essentially how to build the house, and that's what gets you going. So there's some minor supplies in here, and then the thing on the left is the drawing table. So essentially how it works is you start off building a small portion of your home, and then you can add on larger portions later. And you can essentially add three wings to your house on top of the main unit and then within each wing you have three different options and actually you can get pretty like I'm pretty positive like if you would built two or three different homes they would actually look genuinely different from the outside because you can actually put like spires and columns and various things and you can definitely customize the inside with you know, alchemy, blacksmithing, enchanting, all of that stuff. And I think this is actually the first house where I had all the blacksmithing stuff under one roof, where I had the forge, uh, you know, I had the table, the grind bench, and the smelter. So it's really convenient to have all those things in one room, and you get that in the cellar of this house. But anyway, this is the beginning, and uh, I didn't want to show everything because I don't want to ruin it for everyone, but I just thought I'd show kind of the beginning stages and then kind of what I had built by the end. So the main gameplay element is this, where you need to basically collect the materials, and if you notice, I don't have the quarried stones or the nails, but the quarried stones you can get like 15 feet away from the table right here, and unlike normal mines, this is infinite, so you can basically stand there and just, you know, hack away and get like 100 stones as opposed to traditional mines. And the same thing with the clay, the clay is about 20 feet in the other direction, and this is an infinite deposit, so you can literally just stand in one place and collect an infinite amount. Now the nails you have to make or buy at a blacksmith, and the same thing with the lumber, you have to buy that at a lumber mill. And that's actually where I had my first problem with the DLC, was there was a dragon outside the lumber mill that the DLC told me to go to, and there was no person there, and I couldn't buy lumber. And it literally took me an hour to just travel from lumber mill to lumber mill, and when I would find a lumber mill person, they wouldn't sell me anything, and it was just kind of being weird. But uh, after about an hour, I eventually sorted it out. And what I had to do is I had to lockpick, break into a lumber mill, scare the person, have them kick me out of their home, and then I could buy lumber from them. So that was kind of weird, but it is day one, so I wasn't going to complain too much about that. So here you can see kind of step by step the building of the first part of the house where you start with the foundation, you then put the walls up, and you proceed. Ooh, butterfly. And the wall, or actually the floors here are still dirt, but you literally build a house piece by piece, and it is really fun to just build your house piece by piece there. It's quite, I don't know, I don't know if cathartic's the word, but I don't know, it's very interesting. But here you can see the stone floor now in comparison to dirt, although I didn't like that the stone floor was cracked. I was like, this is a brand new floor, it shouldn't have cracks. Anyway, a few hours later, after I installed all the wings, and it took me a while, oh yeah, this is the horse carriage. You can do other things besides just make your house pimp in a mansion, but I got this horse carriage guy 
Uh, I also got a horse stable, and you can build a garden and various other things. Uh, you can also, yeah, that's my garden. I still haven't planted anything there yet. And over here in the corner, I have a beehive, which is really cool. I didn't, I didn't notice bees or honey before, but I mean, this is pretty cool that you can essentially have your own honeycomb and bees. So. If you notice, my house is big, and that's one of the spires, and you could actually put up to three spires on your house, but I only put on one. So that's what I meant when I said everyone's house will actually look pretty different depending on which configuration you go with, and especially the inside. So that guy walking into the house is my bard, who I hired through my, I guess, house servant. You can get a house servant, and then you can have them decorate the inside of the house if you don't want to deal with it, or you can do it manually. So I did a mixture of the two. And this is actually my favorite part of the house, which is the deck, and I thought the view was nice. So this is one of the spires, and so I guess in theory you could put up two other spires and have two more of these kind of deck areas, but I basically put a deck area facing the lake. And I did think that the DLC did pick a rather nice spot, it's very secluded, there's no... I realize all the other houses are essentially in a town, and this is the only house where you're by yourself, except for this one neighbor. And uh, I noticed this person from my deck, and I was like, what is that down there? Because it looked like some sort of altar. So the house is very secluded, except for a few kind of shoddy neighbors. And I didn't know what this lady was about, but apparently she's not about anything helpful or handy, so yeah, just deal with the neighbors. Anyway, uh, when you get the interior of the house, you don't have to put all this stuff in here, like you don't have to have a bed right there. I put a bed right there, but you don't need to put a bed right there. But essentially, I filled this house with just clutter and junk. Now, I think this might be the middle stage before I put all the clutter in, but for the most part, all the furniture is there. So I basically filled this place with beds. This is the children's room. Yes, you can adopt children in the Riften Orphanage. So that also opens up new gameplay elements. So not only do you get the house with all the stuff inside once you trick it out, and I would say you don't spend over 30 grand for all of this, or I guess 30,000 gold. So, I mean, I know that all of the stuff by the end of it did not cost over 30,000 gold. So, I mean, it wasn't even the most expensive endeavor to build your own house. Oh yeah, this is the cellar. And this is one of my adopted children, and I gave her a dagger, because it was the only g I was trying to give her, a, like, a teddy bear, but it wouldn't let me, and it said it let me give her a dagger. So now she's just... Yeah, I mean, this is what's going on in my cellar, so... There's a there's another kid running around somewhere and it opens up. You know what's actually funny about the kids? You can tell them to do their chores or go play. And if you tell them to do their chores, they'll actually like sweep up the house. <laughs> and it's really funny to be like, go do your chores, and then watch them do it. I'm like, wow, full circle. You also tell them to go play outside, which is also kind of fun and opens up some gameplay options. Uh, the cool thing about the bard is that you can tell him to play different instruments and do instrumentals, or you can tell him to sing songs. And it seemed like there was an extra song in here, although I could be wrong, but it seemed as though there was a new song. But I did enjoy the fact that you could just have him play a flute, or bang on the drums, or, you know, whatnot. Uh, with the children and outside, you can actually play games with them. So this is me and the children playing tag, which is nice after a long day of killing dragons and murdering bandits. You know, you can just go home and enjoy the simple things in life. So, all in all, I would say yes, this DLC was totally worth the five dollars and I did enjoy it and it was good to get back into Skyrim after not playing it for a few months and kind of being, you know, away in other games. So, I did enjoy the DLC. I do easily give it, you know, thumbs up. I don't really give things a numbered rating or a grade rating, but yeah, either you like it or you don't. So yeah, this was cool and uh, totally enjoyed it.